Hi, we are the DTU uh, item team and we would like to make a video introduction on how to use user cloning and why it's uh, applicable to your item project. The point of user cloning, like all other cloning strategies, is to introduce sticky ends. And the way user cloning does this is by um, you, uh, introducing your cell in the primers. So when you make your primers, you add an additional URSO and then you make a tail and the tail will then at, at the end be uh, your sticky end. So first step is to make a PCR reaction with the URSO containing primers. You do this with a special polymerase that, polymerase that can handle URSO. Then you have uh, as product a double stranded piece of DNA with URSO inserted. Then you use uh, a uracil specific enzyme that will cut only if there is a uracil inserted and this will then make the piece of DNA with the sticky ends that you would like. So the advantages of user cloning uh, compared to restriction cloning is that you can get very long uh, sticky ends and you can also vary the, um, or you can vary the sequence of these sticky ends. This enables you to assemble many fragments and you can even use it to make seamless cloning. The advantages when using user cloning is that you can assemble multiple fragments. So here's an example on how to assemble three uh, fragments. <coughs> you have to uh, first amplify your fragment with a uracil containing primer. And this is uh, what we have tried to show here with the uracil in those uh, double-stranded fragments. So the very convenient thing about this technique is that when you ha already have the fragments, you can just mix them all together, add this uh, user enzyme, and then they will, after uh, the reaction has uh, uh, have gone through, you will get uh, your uh, product, <laughs> and uh, this product will be always in the right order, because you have designed your overlapping sequences in a way that the sticky ends will not match each other and then there, and therefore you will only get one possible product. And by the same technique you can introduce this into a plasmid. To sum up, we can conclude that you can, by using user cloning, clone multiple fragments. You can do it in a directional and specific way. And lastly, it's very convenient because you only have to use one reaction when you have the fragments. If you are more interested into user cloning, you can uh, go and look uh, up DTU2 iGEM uh, 2011. Their team made a whole lot of work with user cloning.